Hey guys, Brody here. Welcome back to the Lawn Mowing Simulator. Here we are for another episode. But you can see in the background, we've finally got our second staff member. So we have hired Layla Thompson. Has a candlelit bath every Sunday. Can't be reasoned with, can't be bargained with. This mushroom sh thinks mushrooms should be banned. Has an affinity for blue corduroy. So we've hired her. Um, one thing I have noticed is... I don't know why... Oh, there we go. We can train them. So we can um, give her some more experience points, so whether she's time management, advanced driving skill, or vehicle maintenance as well. So we can train them up like I wanted, which is awesome. Um, we have picked up a second mower for her, the Knight OFS one, which we've already used before. So she'll be running that, and we'll be running with the Patterson ZT-A1. Current loans, we've got one loan. Currently owns 17, oh, 17 and a half thousand. I think we can go for another one, but the weekly repayments are what's going to kill us. Um, yeah, a bit concerning about the weekly repayments. So what I was thinking today is, um, we can have a look around. So we've got the training field, Crossley Riding School, which is one I want to do as well. Uh, but we've also got the Adams... Apple Co, an orchard, great money. Um, these other two aren't too bad money-wise. I think we'll go with um, Coble Street Gardens for uh, Layla. Confirm contract for her, and we might go with the Adams Apple Co, the orchard. Um, current grass range 21 to 33 centimetres. Uh, six to seven centimeters, 150 centimeter recommended deck width, which I think that was ours. Uh, deck size zero, it says, which isn't right, obviously. Um, 122 centimeters. So we already own that. Why would we change it out? I don't know. Anyway. Um, I'm heading there and Layla's heading there. Let's go. Let's get stuck in. So this one's probably going to be quite a long uh, mow around this apple orchard. So probably throw in another time lapse like we did uh, last episode. Just load in, do a general ground check. That sort of stuff. I don't know if there's going to be any valuables around. I guess we'll have to have a quick look for that as well. Once again, loading time's a little bit long, but I guess it's not too bad. Could be, um, could be a lot worse. Okay, so, Adam's Apple Co. Those beautiful birds. Plenty of trees around too, by the looks of that. Alright, using the, whoa, using the mouse again. Um... We'll go for a run around. There's seven items to collect. So we'll run up and down each row. See if we can find some stuff. So we've got seven minutes to find the items that are on the ground. It's a bit laggy as well. There's another one. Lag is obviously because they just loaded in and the render distance is probably up quite high. Grass looks definitely looks um kinda long, doesn't it? We've only found two objects so far. Right, there should be one in this row. I think I did see it, there we go. Sort of see him off in the distance. There should be one just up here to the left, and then another one up here to the right. There we go. Awesome. Run back this way. There should be two more. I can see one over there. 
Maybe he's somewhere. There we go. I don't know where this last one is. There it is. You can sort of see it where you can't see the grass. Just there. There we go. So now our ground check time is complete, which is good. So now we can actually look for um, valuables without having any sort of penalty. Uh, make sure there's nothing in here. There's some apples. We don't need to return those. They're not really valuables, I guess. Tractor, some apples. I uh, can't see any valuables around, so let's um, jump on. Our mower. So we've got side discharge on again. Let me just adjust my headphones a little bit. Cut height, we need 6... 6.3 I guess. Right, and of course we're going to have to go... And cut inwards, not outwards. So, we'll do a full lap around as per normal. Then we'll have to work on our up and down, up and down rows and that sort of stuff. Need to try and avoid collisions. I mean, we're not losing too much money as far as collisions go, but still, I don't really want to go hitting anything because we're only damaging our equipment. We're losing a little bit of cash out of it, so. Maybe one where we're going to have to go a little bit slower than normal. Just because of how thick the grass is. It's definitely thick in some spots. You can see it. It's quite a big area, it's going to take quite a bit of time to get it done, but it's um, going to be good income for us. Over two and a half grand plus bonuses, so it could be quite lucrative. It could be a $3,000 day for us, with our helper as well, out doing something else as well. Quite a long run, and there's quite a few trees we're going to have to go around. So once it goes red, as always, just let off that little bit, but then just hammer, hammer down again. Right, overloading the engine. Go this way now. Just cut these off into sections again. I'm not going that quick to be honest, but it's still just bogging down really easily. But we're six centimetres, so we're taking off a good 18. 18 to 20 centimetres or something. That, that is really thick through there. That's crazy thick, that is. I know I'm overloading it, that's why I'm slowing down a little. Wow, yeah, that is crazy thick up through here. See the bits that we've just haven't been able to cut because we've been going too quick. We go and touch those bits up. I mean, the other option we have is we can mow it at a higher height and then come back and mow it again, but then you have to mow it twice then, so it's really not um, very efficient doing it that way. What 
we'll do now, guys, is we'll throw in a bit of a time lapse. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'll bring you guys back when we get close to finishing this bad boy. It's going to take uh, quite a while, I think. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back very shortly.
Where are they guys? I'm back. Wow, this has been a mission and a half. 46 minutes I've been doing this war so far. Just over 95%. We're over a third of the way engine damage because it's just very tricky. It's, um, I feel like once you start being able to go a little bit faster, you sort of get sucked in to go on even faster, just like that, and then you've got to slow down a little bit more or back up and get a bit near miss, but 96.4%, so a couple more strikes up and down and we should be finished. Definitely going to be our best earner yet, but certainly earn this cash. This is a monster job. The time really is we definitely need a bigger mower for this thing, 100%. Something that's got a bit more power in and can cut 7 centimeters instead of 6.3. Um, I don't know if that extra centimeter will make a difference, but we won't bulk down as much while cutting, but... I sort of worked out if I sort of keep it at about six and a half, seven kilometers. Um, we don't bog down anywhere near as much. When I try and go a little bit quicker, like up to eight, so we start to bog down that little bit more. But we're on the home stretch at the moment. Ninety-nine percent, so we're pretty bloody close. this little strip on the way back up. I don't know if we need to get 95 or 99 percent this mission but just wait and see. Now we can go flat out because there's not much grass there. It's a very thin strip. 99.7. Uh, some bits here. And then this strip here that should get us 99.8. Okay, well, there's bits we've missed somewhere. Oh, a bit of lag and stuff going on. I don't know what button it is. We can use. Obviously, I know that's the left control on the keyboard, but I don't know what the button is on the control to bring up what we may have missed. Alright. More. Where's, where's all these really thick bits we've missed? Quite a bit here. A bit under this tree. Let's try it. There's just so many little tiny bits we've missed. So close to that 99% is what we need. I should really keep it at 99.5. Because I cannot see much else. There's a patch here. Would that be enough? <laughs> Not quite. Oh. Not a lot that we've missed, like there's just bits and pieces here, there and everywhere, so... We just need that little bit extra to get us across the line. Here's a decent amount. Still not enough, there's a bit there. A bit here. There's still just tiny little bits and pieces. Which is uh, very frustrating. Come on, 99%. 99.9. Can't really see too much more, to be honest. It's here. 
Wow, we are so close. I think we got around most of the trees pretty well. I know we can just take it straight back now and just end the mission, but I want to make sure we've got the required amount. Um, might gonna have to just might just have to leave it. I think well, it was a decent amount here. There we go. I oh, know. Now we've had to clean it up before leaving. bloody close do we have to be? Now yeah, we're just damaging the ground and I think that'll do to be honest like I'm not gonna stress too much about it now. That'll do us. Uh, yes, exit contract. That'll do, I mean 99.8% Pretty bloody close to that 99.9, .9, but I wasn't going to waste another 10 minutes driving around trying to find the little tiny bloody bits, so. Just wait for us to load in now, and then... We should be good. We can see what we can do from here. So, yeah, other employee should be out doing her thing. So, okay, ground check bonus, ground cutting time bonus is zero because we kind of sucked bad at that one. Penalties, collisions. I did hit quite a few trees. Clean up fee, ground damage, incorrect cut height penalty, two thousand six hundred sixty-three. I'll accept that, um, and then Layla, so she's at 8.75 ground check earnings, uh, she can get a bonus for that, she did collisions, clean up fee, correct cut height penalty, but still 397.50, so not bad, we went up to establish rank 1, which is good to see, okay looks like we've got cloud today, a couple of new applicants, a journeyman, We'll reject him. Um, let's go back to our HQ. We still can't afford to purchase a new HQ. Um, wow, there's a fair few jobs today. That's an, Is that the same one or a different one? Not the same one again. A lot more complexity with that one. Um, can we hard exchange? I definitely want to Go for something a little bit bigger. Let's look at. Um, oh, we can apply for a twenty-five thousand dollar loan, which means we can go back, pay off this guy, uh, go back, and have a look at oh, our equipment. Hard exchange, so we can actually go. Toro, which is a 122 centimeter, 122 mulcher, or we can go the Skag Turf Tiger 2, which I think I'd like to go to. I prefer the Toro, but okay, let's go this guy. 122 pounds left over. Now, what are the attachments? Stripe kit, the grass catcher. So we need another four green. Let's have a look. Let's go. I'm not sure about the bigger loan. We need another four green. Let's go for another smaller loan. Uh, let's no. Striper kit. 
Let's buy that. And then we'll buy the clam shell. Oop, no, we don't want to buy another one of those. Go back. That's all we can really get for that. We need to come in and obviously maintain all this because we did do quite a bit of damage to that thing. Um, mulching deck. Put that back on. We could probably exchange that and get another bigger mower again. Because what's it worth? Five. I mean, I'd like to grab the Toro. But we won't. We won't. Not right now, anyway. Um, I don't know why it's got... I'd like to move them around. Like, drag that to there. So that way we've got... Um, the good one there. But right here, guys. We'll, we'll end this episode here. So we are now established rank 1 mowing business. We've still got um, our Red Bull building. We can actually upgrade to that. But it's going to cost us... Uh, a little bit of extra cash that we don't really want to spend right now. We don't really need it either. We can get another employee, but we, once again, we don't have the cash for that. So, yeah, next episode we might tackle something a little bit bigger. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the game and the series so far. And if you want to see more, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.